And now we will hear from Chris Rabadou, also a member of AG and partner at Anderson in Canada. Yay, thanks, Krista. what's happening yep thanks everybody hello my name is Krista um, when Catherine said you get the member spotlight go up and just talk about Anderson I'm like well what am I going to talk about we're accountants and most people don't really find us very exciting or enjoyable to talk about or talk to so I'm going to give you a brief overview of who we are at Anderson what we do what we're comprised of where we are for your pleasure and viewing pleasure so who are we? Uh, we were first formed many years ago by our founder and joined the Anderson brand, which some people in this room might know where the Anderson brand came from. Originally was wiped out in 2002 by the debacle down in the United States that has been rebranded, brought back to life. Currently in about 173 countries as a boutique firm that just does tax legal valuations and family office type work. So the whole intent behind Anderson was to be completely independent and conflict-free of the other auditors and accountants that are supposed to be independent of the services we provide. And so all of us have come into the Anderson world from the larger firms in general to provide services to the clients. Um, our main expertise is tax in Canada at this time. We do both Canadian and US tax and we're spread across the country Ontario, Quebec, Alberta, BC, um, with, with representation in, in all those markets. And so from there, we are now continuing to grow. We've doubled in size the past three years with individuals in our profession that are excited to kind of have the opportunity to get out from the larger firms and provide the boutique service and really become advisors uh, versus just tax preparers, which is for people who don't understand the difference, there is quite a big difference between being an advisor and a preparer of getting information and putting it in a tax return versus being able to actually work with someone and get into the nuts and bolts of everything and not worrying about conflict or not it. And so that's truly where we come to play, working with businesses and individuals. We have a very strong presence in the cross-border practice. Uh, we currently have about 100 professionals in Canada that just do cross-border tax, which is actually one of the largest practices um, in Canada for, for Canadian U.S. tax uh, specialists. Um, <clears throat> we've doubled, I've already said that. We've focused on the evolving needs. Um, we've, we're venturing into the consulting practice, which isn't uncommon for tax professionals to also provide consulting with respect to transition. The family enterprise world is where we're really starting to put a lot of our emphasis in order to be able to help with succession and transition and planning and working with families to bring in those next generations from all angles of tax. We don't do legal in Canada at this time within the Anderson brand, but eventually that will be coming into Canada. Um, so at this point, we just work on the tax, but we have collaborations with different law firms that we work with in the various markets. Um, at this point, our main service offerings are the, our international private client service, which is providing services to individuals who are crossing a border. That's a, the very simplistic approach to it is if you're crossing a border, you've automatically created complexities for yourself. And so we really work with those individuals and the businesses that they're associated with or they may not be associated with to ensure that you're reporting what's required in all of the different jurisdictions because uh, a lot of people think when you cross Canada and U.S. border, we talk the same, we look the same, we act the same for the most part, but there is actually extreme amount of differences in regulations and laws that take place. So we can't just move across the border as easy as it appears to with our passports. And we really have to take that into account when we're, when we're going to look at doing business somewhere else in a different jurisdiction. We also do a lot of work with the trust and estates, and thank God the Bear Trust got shut down, although far too late, but um, it did get shut down for one year reprieve. But, and so we do a lot of work on that for planning with our enterprise clients as well. Uh, transfer pricing, valuations, and as I said before, the family enterprise advising, working with those family businesses um, with coaching and consulting, because we also have coaches on our team who can work through not just the tax side of things, but all of the interpersonal side of things. So that's 
what Anderson is. And thanks again for allowing us to have the member spotlight today and um, enjoy the rest of the conference or conference. It's not even a conference. Yes, okay. Thank you. <laughs>